does that? It's like eight in the morning. <laughs> Hey friends, it's Angela. You guys have gotta be thinking, this lady's crazy, okay? <laughs> I love to have fun around here and I cannot wait to show you all the stuff I finally ended up with at Walmart this week. So let's start out by looking at a few things that I saw in store. First is this really cute lemon sweater, $16. It's by Time and True. I have never seen this in the store, but it's very cute. Then I spotted this new brand I have never seen in the shoe department. It is called Sam and Libby. These sandals are so, so cute and very cushy for $25. Then I spotted these, which totally remind me of like a Tory Burch dupe. Same thing by Sam and Libby, very cushy. They had them in just these two colors and they were also $25. Now the rest this week, you're gonna see in the try on. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for, let's get to the try on, ladies. There are two stars of the show in this first outfit. The first ones are these corset capris by No Boundaries. These jeans are magical. I have the regular length jeans and saw these in a capri length. You have the ability to roll and unroll the bottom to whatever length that you prefer, but the magic is in the top of these jeans. Just the corset top here helps to kind of suck in that tummy area and make you look thinner. I've heard from many of you who have purchased the corset jeans that you absolutely love them. These capris do come in three different washes that I saw. I wanna say they were $15, $16. Well worth it, ladies, for these capris. As far as fit goes, I normally wear a size six in many different brands of jeans, but in No Boundaries, I always go up to a size nine, and that seems to equate really well to a size six in a normal ladies jean. The next thing I'm wearing is just a plain t-shirt from Time and True. It's a V-neck. Everybody can use a white t-shirt for summertime. This t-shirt was $6. I picked it up in a size small. Unless this shrinks a little bit, I'm actually gonna say that I should have gone down to an extra small. Now the second star of the show of this outfit is this jacket. This is a pink Time and True cargo jacket for spring. Let me tell you what I'm absolutely loving about this jacket. And I will say at this moment, this jacket is not going back to the store. I picked this up in a size small for myself and I am saying it's perfect. It's, I still have room underneath the jacket if I were to even wear a lightweight sweater in the springtime. This piece was $25 and well worth the $25 for the quality of this jacket. This does have two pockets that snap closed. It's got two little pockets on the top that are open, so it's easy to put things like maybe sunglasses. It has a zipper and then snaps that go over that in the front. It does have kind of a drawstring on the inside that you can kind of tighten to give it a more gathered look on the outside. The length of this jacket is about mid hip level. Now the sleeves, they do have a button, not a snap at the end here, is you can undo it and roll it actually. So it gives you an entirely different look at the end of the sleeves. Overall, I love this jacket. It is a total keeper. Now for this next outfit, I kept the capris on and just paired it with a really cute top set that I found by No Boundaries. Now in my store, they had this particular set in black or this really pretty foamy mint green. And I really just love the detail in the material. It's got this lettuce ruffle around the sleeves. It's got just this really neat um, pin prick pattern going throughout the whole thing. I did pick this up in a size small, but normally I would go to a medium, but for some reason, it just looked a little bit on the bigger side for me. And while it fits really well, I kind of feel like it might be just a little bit too short for my liking. This set was $20, and I guess I'm gonna say that if you pick this set up, I would pick it up in two sizes and see how you like the fit of both on you. I like that this sweater is lightweight. I don't ever see myself taking out the outer cardigan shell and just wearing it as kind of like a sweater tank top underneath, but that's just me. You could do that. You could also wear it tied like this in the front, or you could wear it open and have the ties kind of hang down. 
And as you saw in the video, I finally picked up this sweater by Time and True. I had passed it up last week and had been regretting it ever since. It is $16 and I picked it up actually in an extra small. Again, the small looked a little bit big to me, so I went down a size and I'm saying this is perfect. I really was drawn to the brighter colors of the sweater. I love the floral for springtime. It just really gives you that kind of spring type vibe. It is a lightweight sweater. It has little slits on both sides of the sweater, which really makes it able to lay a little bit better than maybe it normally would. I don't know, ladies, what are you thinking? Should this be a keeper or not? Now this next outfit consists of another Time and True t-shirt. It is in this light heathered gray look. It was $6 and again in a size small. Another great basic to have in your wardrobe that will go with a lot of the lighter pastel colors for springtime. Now these shorts are by Time and True as well. I did pick them up in a size six. They have a four inch inseam. These are a jean type short and they have a mix of grays and ivories in here creating this camo look. Now the cuff at the bottom is sewn. You cannot unroll that. There is a bit of distressing to these shorts, just in a few areas. I wanna say these are a mid-rise, but they don't feel too low for me anyway at all. These shorts were $14. I could definitely see probably my favorite look to go with these is pairing it with this gray t-shirt. Okay, need a little coffee break. Tell me if anybody else's dog does this. Do you think he's comfortable? He always lays like this on his back, just spread eagle. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this dog. He is like a little magnet down here. I feel like dogs and babies are just that magnet to draw people into initiate a conversation with you. We have had more people approach us because of Bentley and just like, oh, your dog is so cute. And then a conversation starts. Well, I have to tell you the other night, I feel like it's pretty funny, but my husband may not think it's that funny. I don't know, I think he thinks it's funny. So we're sitting out in one of the town squares. My husband had just had his ice cream. We're listening to the music, which is great. We're people watching. It's just a nice night. He gets up to throw away his empty ice cream cup, which is like in a trash can, not very far from me, okay? He's literally gone from my side for 30 seconds, maybe a minute total. And what happens? All of a sudden, some guy starts walking up to me trying to start up a conversation. I don't know if he was just a friendly guy or if he thought I was single. I said to Mark later, I said, apparently you can't leave me alone here for like a minute. All to say that dogs and babies, they just seem to start up conversations so much easier than you just being by yourself. Am I right about that? Now this next outfit I'm so excited about too because I finally found these Lee shorts in this awesome color in my size. These are a jean type short. It's kind of like a teal color, I guess. I mean, totally screams out spring and summer color. I picked these up in a size six and they were $20. Now let me tell you a little something about the size. My normal Lee jean shorts are a size six and they fit great. I have no issues with them feeling even a, the slightest bit snug. But for whatever reason, these colored jeans seem a little bit tighter. <laughs> so if I had to do it over again, I would have gotten a size six and an eight, brought them home, tried them both on to see if maybe the eights felt a little bit better. His shorts do have a five inch inseam on them. They are cuffed and you can roll and unroll them to whatever length you prefer. Now I paired these shorts with this really great graphic tee that I picked up from Walmart a while ago. It's by the brand Wound Up and I've talked about that brand in that it's hard to find these online. They're really a t-shirt and a brand you have to just kind of discover and find in your store. It has a little bit of that teal color in it, so I put them on with these shorts and I feel like this is a great casual outfit for spring, summertime. Now for this next outfit, I decided to put my white t-shirt on with these time and true shorts. They are a high rise pull on short. I did try them in a size small and they are $17. What I like about them is they look really cute on the hanger. The whole concept 
of this paper bag top with the bow in the front is really, really cute. I like the color of these. They also had them in a light pink and a very light aqua color. The problem with the blue and the pink was that they are a little bit on the thinner side. So you're really gonna see your underwear through those two colors. Now it doesn't say on the tag or anything what the inseam of these shorts are. I'm thinking they might be a three and a half. Thought I would try them anyways, and for me, they're just a little bit too short for my comfort. So because of the gathered elastic waistline, it tends to create this puckering going on right in the front under that waistline. Whether I'm standing up or bending over, it just kind of creates this extra bulky material look in the front, which I'm not a fan of. If these shorts were a little bit longer, I may be more attracted to keeping them, but the extra material would still bother me. Okay, ladies, this next outfit, I am just so excited about. I did not know how this outfit was gonna go because it had these kind of sexy mama legs and I didn't know if the slit would be too high, if the top would be too short or the off the shoulder thing wouldn't work, but let me tell you something. Are you listening to me? If you have any kind of outdoor party to go to this summer, or you're going on a tropical vacation somewhere, you need to seriously consider looking at this outfit for yourself. It is a two-piece set by No Boundaries. It is $18. And I'm telling you what, it has the unique factor. And it's just not like a lot of things that I've seen out there already. These pants, I'm digging these pants. And I just love the slits going on in these legs. It's a very flowy kind of tropical resort type look. When you go up high enough, it does stop, okay? So it's not like the wind's gonna blow and you're gonna see your underwear through the slits. There is a point where it stops and you're fully covered. I love how it has this tie front because it gives the illusion of a wrap style pant. The, the pants are more of a high-waisted fit and it works really well with this top because this top is a little bit on the shorter side, but even still, they both come together so I don't feel like I'm gonna have to fight pulling down this top constantly so my stomach doesn't show. I do like this off the shoulder look. I just feel like it gives a little bit of a sexy summertime vibe. The top does have this ruching material throughout. So it gives you a lot of stretch in the top area if you need it. I paired this little outfit with my strappy black wedges from Kohl's. And I'm just saying, I am so excited to wear this somewhere. And then from there, we're moving on to this really cute PJ set I also found at Walmart this week. Now down here when it's getting warmer, I'm finding that I need a short set to sleep in. These shorts are absolutely adorable. Secret Treasures make some of the best PJ sets. Just so soft, comfortable, and the price is right. Each of these pieces were $8, so it makes a set $16. In Secret Treasures, you want to stick with your normal size. Sometimes I do go down a size if it's looking like it might be a little bit big, but generally stick with your normal size. With these PJ sets, they had different bottoms that you could match with different tops. So you really could kind of mix and match however you wanted. So I picked up this dark charcoal tank top to go with it because it had the same beautiful colors in the top that are in the tie-dye in the bottoms. These do have pockets in them. If you feel like you need a pocket in your PJs, you might wanna carry around some Kleenex or maybe a piece of cookie, who knows? <laughs> I've always been happy with my Secret Treasures PJ sets and this is another winner. Next, we have this really pretty swimsuit that you saw me jump in the pool with in the beginning. Yeah. They have some really nice quality swimsuits at Walmart this spring. I just love the colors in here because on the black, they just pop a little bit more. I normally tend to size up in swimsuits in the bottom. So I would go to a medium and a small on top. But in time and true, I kept it small, both pieces, because it looked a little bit big. And I'm gonna say I made the right decision. Each of these pieces were $19. So you get your whole swimsuit set for 38 bucks. Now the bottoms are high-waisted. I really like that about it. And as you can see, this top is a tankini top with a little cutout hole in the front. Almost like a halter type top, but in a tankini form. 
Here's a little close up of the bottoms, nice and high at the top and not so much of a cut in the back. What I like about these as well is the whole inside has a black lining. The top, which you saw when I had on, is really, really cute. It does have a clasp in the back, so it creates this little peephole underneath. And of course, you have the halter with a tie in the back. Now there is padding right here, and the lining is only in the top portion of this. It is time for that section that some of you have been totally loving lately. It is the I saw you in Walmart this week, but it's gonna be a complete heck no for me. Now, I thought it was only appropriate to put this shirt on for this section of the video. If you guys are Yellowstoners out there, you watch the show Yellowstone, you're gonna love it. Are you ready? I put on my Don't Make Me Send Rip t-shirt. Now, I did not get this from Walmart, but you guys are gonna see this in an upcoming video. So for all of you all that have watched Yellowstone, you know exactly who Rip is and why this would be funny. If you haven't watched Yellowstone, Rip is like that tougher than nails cowboy. He's like the modern day hitman, mafia dude. Let me just say, if Rip comes to your door to give you a ride to the train station, girl, you better start running <laughs> because Taking you to the train station means that he's gonna take you out into the mountains of Wyoming and dump you off a cliff. So you don't wanna be messing with Rip. Now let's talk about the first item that is totally in my heck no category. The first thing that popped into my mind was the Beverly Hillbillies, and I think her name was Daisy May. Can't remember, I think it was, but maybe it was something else. Totally see her wearing this kind of outfit. And the thing is, the skirt. It's a tube skirt. No one needs to be seeing every little roll and wrinkle I got going on, okay? So I'm not getting myself into a tube skirt anytime soon. And you know, doesn't this kind of remind you of like a picnic blanket? You know, you got the red and the white checkered, but now we've got the blue and the white checkered. Let me tell you, if I wore that kind of thing, it wouldn't be a picnic for anybody watching. This next item, I'm just gonna say it, okay? The denim is really cute. I love this acid wash pink going on, but it ends about there because that's really cropped. I mean, super cropped. It must be like super cropped. <laughs> I'm picturing if I put it on, here's where it's gonna fall, all right? On us ladies. And I'm not even a big girl up here, okay? It's probably gonna come like halfway <laughs> right in there and it's just gonna look weird, isn't it? I don't know how making it end halfway through your chest is, it, I don't see how that's a good look. I just don't. Okay, these shorts. Now I have a little story for you on these shorts. They had a two-tone jean in the fall, I think it was, and I bought those because it was intriguing to me. I was just like, how does that work when one leg is a light wash and one leg is a dark wash? That just looks weird. I gotta try these. I get them home and my family is like, uh, that's a complete heck no for you. That, that Those are the worst. And so I, I did end up taking them back, but they were interesting, right? I think there's a line to be crossed when you start making sweatpants shorts in a two-tone. Just, I just think of the circus, okay? That's what I think of. Two-tone striped tent, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Do I need to even say anything about this top? I mean, come on. I am over 50. I'm almost 52. My days of wearing that kind of top, and actually, wait a minute. Yeah, there was never a day that I would wear this kind of top, but that's just me, okay? And you're certainly not gonna see me wearing this kind of top now. That's just all kind of wrong for me, okay? <laughs> it's just all kind of wrong. Ladies, if you love those pants that I was showing a few weeks ago, they were the floral Brady Bunch pants. Hmm. I know some of you were worrying about this, that, you know, when it gets a little bit warm outside, I want to get those pants out, but it's going to be too warm. We got you covered. We have got you covered, ladies, because they decided to make those pants into a pair of biker shorts. No more worries for you. You can rock these in the summer and you get your long pants from before and you can wear those in the winter time. We're good. We're all good now. And these checked biker shorts, 
I'm thinking like Edward Scissorhand-ish. Wait a minute. No. Alice in Wonderland. Black and white check. I don't know why. Just I'm thinking Alice in Wonderland. Like I need a top hat to wear with these biker shorts. And some kind of goofy combat boot, bulky boots, right? And I think I could have a pretty good outfit here. That might be a winner. Before we get on to the hot mama outfit of the week, I have a little poll for you guys, okay? A couple weeks ago, I picked up this dress right here. It was by No Boundaries, and I was really debating, do I keep it, do I not keep it? It was a little bit on the thinner side, but because it was black, it made it much better than getting it in a lighter color. And I was wondering, is it too short for me? So I want to ask you guys, do you think I should go back and get this dress? I saw it this week. I was like, do I get it again? Do I not? So help a girl out. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let's talk about my sexy mama outfit of the week. I have been waiting to wear this outfit. And the thing is, it's just been a little bit too cold down here to wear it until now. This next week, it's gonna start really warming up down here in Florida, and I am not crying like a crybaby, okay? Let me tell you, I feel you all up north having to live through the winter in the 30s, 20s, teens, and below. So I'm super excited that this week, this outfit is getting worn out somewhere. I'm telling you that right now. So let's talk about this. I have got my favorite Sofia Vergara boot cut jeans on. These jeans were the ones I picked up for $5. I think they are still selling them online. And if I can find a link for you guys, I will put it down below. They have a button fly in the front of them. And I do need to wear a pair of heels for these because I'm 5'4". So if I didn't, they would be just dragging on the ground. This top that I'm wearing with it is also by Sofia Vergara. It is kind of like a sweater tube top. And then I have my strappy little wedges on that I picked up from Kohl's. I get that not all y'all want to be sexy mamas, okay? And this might be a little bit over the top for you. So I'm going to show you a different top option that I would still consider wearing with these same Sofia Vergara boot cut jeans. So this next outfit idea has the same jeans and shoes that you would be wearing, but you can change it up with this top that I bought by Simply Vera from Kohl's. I love the pattern in this top because it's just kind of a subtle animal print pattern to it. I love that it ties at the waistline to give you kind of more of a gathered look at the waistline, kind of pull it in there. The top is a really nice length. I like that it's not too tight at all. And again, this would look really cute with these jeans and shoes. If you guys missed how in the world this whole shopping experience and try on came together in the first place, you have got to watch this video right here next. It's definitely a shopping experience I won't forget. Until next time, my friends, stay beautiful on the inside and out.